Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osuberg501 and today I want to update you guys on another glitch that still works in Marvel's Adventures. Now, like I've said in the other videos going over these, I want to update you guys on all the glitches that work as of patch 1.3.3 because a lot of people after this patch and after a lot of the other patches have messaged me asking what glitches still work. So hopefully I can get through all these glitches before a next patch comes out that might fix another glitch. Now again, this is going to be another one of the glitches that you have to start the game in offline mode. So if you're in Steam, start in offline mode. If you're in consoles, just disconnect from the internet and start up the game. Now, this glitch is going to be two glitches that I pretty much separated before, but I'm just going to do it in one glitch because it's pretty easy to explain as one. So what you're going to do is you can reset what any of the vendors in the game are offering you. And more specifically, we're going to be worrying about the gear vendors. So if we go here, we can look at these different gear pieces and we'll be able to reset any of these. Actually, all of them at the same time. This also includes the different artifacts which is easily one of the best ways to farm the best god world artifacts in the game so if you want to roll reroll all the gear pieces the 16 gear pieces at any of the vendors in the game you just have to either go backwards or forwards one day these refresh every day now if you want to do the artifacts from either the faction vendors you're actually gonna have to go seven days or however much the refresh shows so it's in four days almost five days for me right Right now so what we're gonna do if you're on consoles you just have to switch a date however you did on consoles if you're on pc type in time in the search bar it will give you change time and date set time automatically to off then you're just going to change a date so we are going to go to the 21st so we can reset both our gear pieces and our artifacts and as you see we now have completely different artifacts one to two epic artifacts and there's always one blue one down here and this is like i said the best way to get god world artifacts but as you can see all of the gear pieces are are different gear pieces as well and you can really get some really good gear pieces it does not matter what the gear perk score is on these what the stats on the gear pieces are the only thing that matters when determining the price of the item is the rarity any legendary piece costs 681 fragments and five upgrade modules as you see here a 78 from a different character is the same as a 130 and you can get like you can see here up to legendary items and up to five star gear perks all these are pretty much be completely randomly rolled gear perks to random stats these don't have any of the specific name gear perks in them but the two faction vendors can also roll some faction specific perks so as you can see here there's a chance to launch a pim payload from doing something it could pretty much be anything hitting crits hitting range attacks getting hits parrying pretty much anything then there's also one for a shield payload you should be able to get or sometimes you can get either of the different ones so you can sometimes get the shield payload ones at the inhuman faction alliance vendor vice versa but if you want to more specifically go for say shield payload perk go to the shield faction vendor and that's pretty much the entirety of the glitch this is pretty good for getting some good rolled gear pieces as you can see here if this had good perks on it or good stats it's a five star rolled gear perk so this technically could be a god rolled item this is more specifically incredibly strong for artifacts i've gotten some of my god rolled artifacts from doing this because pretty often these actually roll with all the same stats as you can see here three resolve rolls on my iron man actually both these artifacts i have that both rolled three sets of precision perks which is range damage both of these are actually from buying them from these vendors which is so incredibly strong because those are two incredibly well rolled gear pieces for range builds so like i said you can come here try to get some really good some really well rolled gear and it's not super expensive just some fragments and some upgrade modules so that's pretty much all i want to go over today subscribe if you want to see more marvel's avengers videos leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about this glitch and thanks for watching